What's going on guys? Today's tutorial is for Toss a Coin to Your Witcher from the Witcher soundtrack. The song structure for this song is going to be verse, chorus, verse, and then two choruses, which means we've got two guitar parts to learn today, the verse part and the chorus part. Let's get into it with an A minor chord and the strumming for the verse. I'm going to be playing this song with a capo on the first fret. If you don't have a capo, then you can check out my favorite one on the link in the description below this video, but you can still play this without the capo. It'll just sound a little bit different than how I would play this. So the strumming we're going to do is straight up and down strums. Down, up, down, up. One and two and three and four and. Just simple and easy like that. Now the chords here are a little bit trickier to memorize because there's a bunch of them, but just follow along and we'll get it good. Got A minor, D, D minor, G, D, G, and E. And these are all held for four beats except the G and E at the end. So that's going to be one and two and three and four and then switch to the second chord. One and two and three and four and and so on. Now the one tricky part about the verse is it does have two parts to it. So you're going to play that chord progression twice and then you're going to play the second chord progression twice. And the only difference is those last chords there. The first five are going to be the exact same, but then in verse B, we're going to switch to an E and an A minor at the end. Everything else is going to stay the exact same thing from the first one to the second one. So now here's all that all together because it's going to be a lot easier for you to figure out by just listening. And that right there is the entire verse from start to finish, and you can use that in verse one and verse two. And with that, we've got the entire verse. Now, the only thing that's different is at the start when it's just played really slowly in that intro part, you can play the same chords just with single held strums instead. So that'd just be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. And that's before it picks up a little bit. So then moving into the chorus, we're going to have a similar kind of thing. You're going to have two different parts, chorus A and chorus B, and the chords are mostly the same, they just change up a little bit. So first let's start with the strumming, again on an A minor chord. Our strumming pattern is going to sound like this. One, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four, and a down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up. So when you can get that strumming pattern, we'll try adding in the chords, and we're gonna switch on beats one and three this time for the most part. So we've got an A minor, E, C, D, A minor, D, and back to A minor. And all of these are gonna switch on beats one and three, except that final A minor, which is gonna be held for four beats. So then the second part of the chorus is going to be basically the same thing, just with a few different chords at the end, but it's going to be a lot easier for you to follow along if you just watch me play and then try it out yourself. So now I'll play the whole thing for you. Just watch out for that chord shift at the end there.
and you're just going to play that for the entire chorus. So with those two parts, you have the verse and the chorus. If you just follow the strong structure of verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then end on a chorus, you'll be able to play this entire song. If you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below. It really does make a difference. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to get more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next five minute guitar lesson.